We've got approximately 320 sites across Australia and out of that there's about 70 quarries, 25 precast concrete plants and about 220 premixed concrete plants. The geographical spread is enormous, there's a lot of distance, especially when you get into Western Australia and, and Central Queensland. I work as a National Safety and Health Manager and we've got a team of about 50 people involved in supporting the business with our improving safety and health. Within Holston we've got a, a series of health risks. We've got a, an ageing workforce which poses some challenges in itself. But typically the sort of exposures are manual handling um, issues, climbing in and out of trucks. Um, once you get into the Humes business there's a lot of interaction with plant and equipment, the steel fixing and concreting etc. Probably the health profile of the guys has improved dramatically over the last 10 or 15 years but initially it was probably something that wasn't taken a lot of notice of. We had probably a large percentage of the workforce would have smoked and probably a reasonable drinking culture within the workforce and with some of the poor health it probably led to injuries that would have been avoided if people had been looking after themselves a little better. A couple of specific issues we had was um, in and out of mobile equipment and a lot of posture problems with truck drivers and people sitting in stationary positions all day so that's something we have dealt a lot with. We initially engaged Health by Design, I would think probably about 12 to 14 years ago, and we brought them into the concrete and quarry operations in Victoria. We decided to survey our actual employees and see if they wanted to retain this service, and we found they overwhelmingly did. From there, the program has really spread right throughout Australia and throughout all the rest of the business units, and it's never been until recently a mandated program. It's been something that's been voluntary, and the businesses and the employees have, have taken it on themselves. Health by Design were presenting a toolbox talk to a group of people, but then the follow-up was done individually of the guys. And I think that's where the success came from when they are doing you know, heart checks and cholesterol checks and, and other types of health checks. The results and the coaching afterwards was done on a one-on-one -on -one basis. And I think that enabled our guys who wouldn't talk about their health openly in front of each other, they would with, with one of the coaches who came out from Health by Design because it would be a private conversation and I think that's made the difference, the personal attention and the, and the private conversations that went with that. When Health by Design came out and actually mathematically showed what sort of weight you were putting on your spine of those jumps, all of a sudden we had concrete drivers quite interested and on board. But in an office situation it's totally different, it's more about posture and general health and um, lifting and storage. It's a program that's tailored in to suit the needs of each business unit. Over the years we've seen a, a significant reduction in our injuries, especially in the musculoskeletal type injuries. Uh, I put a lot of that down to people's knowledge that they've learnt through Health by Design. We've also had several um, real success stories with people who didn't realise they were diabetic or about to be diabetic or people who had heart problems who weren't aware of it. and, and um, given them the advice and a plan to sort of move forward with. Health by Design does deal with, with health from a, a bodily point of view, but it also has supported us with mental health issues at particular times. We've had people who've had the confidence to talk to the Health by Design coaches about personal problems they've had and have been advised on how they can manage and support and improve those. So there's been a couple of cases in particular that were quite significant and um, we've ended up with a good outcome from that. And I think one of the keys to it is that it's not like they're doing this purely just for the profession, they're doing it out of, that's what their passion is and that's what their interest is. And if there are issues, whether they're real or perceived, it's either Greg or one of his management team is very quick to respond and quite collaborative in the way they actually go about looking to sort the situation out. When I look at the way Health by Design's grown within our business, where the success has been is it's not a one-off um, session on health and what you can do for yourself. It's a consistent come back, talk and as we said before have a private session with the coach and when you sustain that sort of continual engagement that's when you actually get the changes rather than these quick snapshot and then move on to the next site.